to Coffee Time with Fueled Networks. My name is Sarah Terpstra, and I am one of the team members here at Fueled. Organizing and attending meetings are a fundamental part of everyday work life when running a business. They occur daily and are still one of the most common and effective ways to collaborate, whether working close or remote. Microsoft Teams has made starting, joining, organizing, collaborating, and holding a meeting efficient and productive. Teams has made it that you can host a meeting from anywhere and still have all your tools for communication and collaboration right at your fingertips. The meetings feature in Microsoft Teams has a few layers to it that we leverage and utilize daily. So we're gonna break it down into a few key parts. Let's start with the main hub of information for meetings, the calendar feature. The calendar feature is a key function in Microsoft Teams. We use this feature to schedule meetings so we can connect and collaborate with each other and clients daily. Teams has taken the guesswork out of scheduling meetings and makes it easy for anyone to do. Meetings in Teams include audio, video, and screen sharing. It is one of the key ways to collaborate in Teams. And you don't have to be a member of the organization or even have an account to join a Teams meeting. Okay, so the calendar feature is a great way to manage your meetings in Microsoft Teams. When you click on the calendar function, you can see all standing meetings and any available time you may have to book a meeting and you can also join a meeting from here. To join a meeting within your calendar, you can simply click on the calendar item and click the join icon. Or if the meeting has already been started by another person, the meeting will be highlighted and there will be a join icon on the meeting. Click on the join icon and you will be directly connected to the meeting. You can also right click on the meetings to see other options. You can join the meeting from here, chat with all participants, or let the organizer know if you will be accepting, declining, or tentatively attending the meeting. Now to add a new meeting, click on the new meeting icon. Here you are given two options to schedule a meeting, either through details or the scheduling assistant. From the details option, you simply go through and fill out the details. Title for the meeting, we have a daily call every day, so ours is called the daily huddle. Add in the people you would like to attend. The easiest way is to start typing in the name if they are part of your organization. Anyone who's not part of your organization can still participate. Just type in their full email address and they will receive an invite in their email. Enter in your date, time, and duration. It's all you need to schedule your meeting. If you require a meeting that is going to occur regularly, no problem. You can leverage the repeat option to schedule the meetings daily, weekly, or even monthly. You can also add in one of your channels. This will invite all people associated with that channel. Lastly, you can add in any details or agenda items for the meeting. Click send and your meeting will be booked and all attendees will be alerted. Now, as we all know, when trying to schedule a meeting, having to line up a time when everyone is available for a meeting can be a big challenge. Microsoft Teams has taken the trouble out of it. Click on the scheduling assistant. And here you can see everyone's schedule and available times. Teams will also suggest the next best available time, taking the guesswork out of scheduling. More time to do more important things. Just a note that the calendar in Teams will also show everything from your Teams, Outlook, and your Exchange calendars. Once you have selected your time, click Send and your meeting will be booked. An email invite will also be sent to all attendees. Now the last way you can start a meeting is to click on the meet now. Now before your meeting gets started, you will have the opportunity to set up a few things. Give your meeting a title, choose whether you want video or not, your background option and your audio settings. Now that you're all set up, click join now. The meeting is officially up and running. Now you just need people to join. Inviting people is easy, just Start typing the name or phone number of the person you want to invite in this box. Click on the person and they will receive a call immediately asking them to join the meeting. Your other option is to copy the link to the meeting and send it to anyone you would like to join. Hopefully you were able to see how easy and efficient the calendar feature in Microsoft Teams has made it to schedule or join a meeting. Join me in our next segment on meetings as we show you how we leverage some of the basic features while in a meeting in Teams. If you have any questions or require further information, please contact us.